first reclining armchair was introduced by the Lazy Boy Company in 1928. Today, many companies make motion furniture, as the industry calls it, and the term recliner no longer refers to just armchairs. You can buy reclining couches and even reclining sectionals. This factory makes reclining chairs and couches in both fabric and leather. The furniture construction is the same regardless of the material, however, leather upholstering requires a few extra steps. They begin by inspecting the hide, marking serious defects with one color of tape and minor imperfections with another. A computer-programmed cutting machine scans and registers the tape markings, then automatically cuts and discards the defective parts. It cuts upholstery pieces for hidden areas, such as the undersides of seat cushions, from the imperfect leather and visible parts from the flawless leather. Once all the pieces are cut, they sew together the back, seat and arms. Then they stuff the arms and back. They position the open end against a blowing machine that fills it with polyester fiber. Workers weigh each part before and after filling. This ensures they've blown in the right amount of fiber and also that both arms have equal filling. Next, they'll fill the seat with foam. A compression machine squeezes it, then a worker sprays on silicone lubricant. This enables the seat cover to slide on easily. Foam is made of a chemical mixture, the formulation of which determines the density. The higher the density, the higher the quality. Elsewhere in the factory, meanwhile, they cut the frame components from plywood using a computer-guided bandsaw. These long pieces will form the seat frame. A three-seater couch has three separate frames, enabling each seat to recline individually. A machine lines one side of each piece with steel spring clips. A worker then dabs the ends in glue and assembles the pieces, reinforcing them with long glue-coated staples. As the staples enter the wood, friction-generated heat melts the glue. The glue then dries, securing the staples. Now comes the step known as springing the seat. They hook five thick steel springs into the spring clips, then hammer the clips closed to lock the springs in place. They connect the springs with a plastic-covered wire so that when you sit on the seat, all the springs react in unison. They assemble the frame pieces for the arm using glue and glue-coated staples again, plus a few screws at strategic points. They screw the arm to the seat and begin upholstering. First, a layer of felt to cushion the springs, then wood, cardboard and foam to form the rounded shape of the armrest. After lubricating with silicone spray, they slip on the leather and staple it into place. They upholster the backrest and sides in the same manner. The reclining mechanism arrives at the factory with the sides pre-assembled. Workers install the connecting pieces, then a bushing that reduces the noise the mechanism makes, then a spring to control the recline speed. They screw the mechanism to the seat frame, then hook up the operating handle and test it out. To cover the back of the furniture, they attach metal tacking strips to the leather, then turn the edge under and hammer the tacks into the frame using a pneumatic hammer. The last step is to attach the back to the seat. There's a detachable flap at the bottom, providing access to a locking spring inside that lets you remove the back if you have trouble getting the furniture through a doorway. At this factory, workers are encouraged to lie down on the job, but only to inspect the furniture. After examining the fabric and sewing, they assess the comfort and test the reclining motion. Talk about a cushy job. <laughs>